Okay, this is what I know about the headpiece. It's uh, basically a bunch of ultraviolet LEDs, because, you know, that way I can stand next to people and make them look better by comparison, I suppose. Uh, I made it as a very simple thing back to, like, a trip back to some of the early LED stuff I made for Burning Man, way before there were any such thing as ultraviolet LEDs. I think when I first made my first LED outfit, there weren't even blue ones at that time, or they were, but they were $15, and, you know, you could barely even see the color of it. But that's a relatively simple. It's a pseudo-random number generator with something that automatically starts it, and then it just is decoded into binary. And whatever the binary ones and zeros are, uh, lights up uh, the purple LEDs on the headpiece. So, oh yeah, yeah so now can make everything glow in the room, which is kind of cool. I like that. It uses different color, different uh, wavelengths of the LEDs. Ranging from, I think, 405 nanometers down to 380. like to get some ones that go further into the UV range, but they're really expensive and, you know, you know, just for a headpiece, do I really want to spend 40, 60, 100 dollars on an LED? I don't think so. But sooner or later, they'll get down cheaper, so it's a good thing, you know. And it's nice to wear the outfits, but I pretty much have to wear them at Burning Man, Decompression, or Halloween without looking like I'm coming from the planet clearly trying too hard to get attention. So, uh, you know. Hopefully they stay in good shape while they're sitting around for, uh, you know, the years in between. And these things, normally I don't have to walk around carrying them. They're tied to the belt. So by wire. I probably could have done it more efficiently, but what the hell. I had plenty of wire lying around the room at the time. And that's pretty much all I have to say with it.